The use of plants for healing properties goes back even further than mankind itself. And over many years, we have learned that various plants can be used for medicinal purposes. And here at Strangers Hall Museum in Norwich, the garden has some fine examples of what plants can help to heal us. Welcome to our herb garden at Strangers Hall. We have um, medicinal herbs, we have culinary herbs over there, and we have dye plants. Strangers Hall is a very old building, it dates from 1320. The garden, which is essentially a garden for the house, has um, evolved mostly over the last few years. It was developed by volunteers. We try to grow things that would have been contemporary with the building. We have things for instance like foxglove, still used today for digitalis, very important. Herbs have been used in medicine for thousands and thousands of years. We know that the herbalists in the past like Gerard and like Culpepper and even people like Hildegard of Bingen in the 14th century, I think, were using herbs for medicine. Comfrey was um, used for, well, it was a battlefield herb. Okay. It was used for setting broken bones. People like um, Nicholas Culpepper in the 17th century said, nothing grows amiss, there is a cure for everything and his herbal is still widely available now. And, and I, I believe too that people perhaps didn't, well they didn't know why these things worked, but they know that they did work. Today yeah. we've obviously got the science and we can look understand and see, how and understand why. how and why. Yeah. So now we're coming to the culinary herbs. Yeah. Now mo most people know the famous four, parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme. Yeah. Um, but it, it, in addition, we've got things like uh, lemon balm, which you can make a nice tea. Um, carrying on, we've got sweet sicily. Now sweet sicily makes a lovely cordial drink. And it is, it is supposedly another one that raises the spirits. And I think it was the herbalist Gerard recommended it for old people that had become dull and, <laughs> <laughs> and sweet Sicily, life in them up no end. We best all go to sweet Sicily. <laughs> this is an interesting plant. This is white whorehound. Now it was very specific in its use. It's for Coughs, colds, sore throats, okay. all that sort of thing. Still used today by herbalists. Yeah. But very specifically, you had to take nine leaves, not eight, not ten, but nine, and you mashed them up with a spoonful of honey and then you swallowed it. And it really? It cured your sore throat instantly. Okay. Feel that one. Do you know that one? This is. Um yes, fever. Fever few, fever few. yes, brilliant. <laughs> Feverfew is still used today. I use it myself for migraine. So St John's Wort is quite well known, isn't it? Because it obviously certainly you can, is, you yes. can buy that in tablet form for yes. perhaps helping with depression. Yes, that's yeah. right. But that's not its original function. Okay. Its original use was as a wound herb okay. on the battlefields of the Crusades because it was used to staunch bleeding by the Knights of St. John, hence its name. Meadow sweet was found with um, burials thousands of years BC, and it was one of the first forms of salicylic acid, aspirin. Isn't it fascinating to think how nature has the power to make us feel relaxed and also heal us? So take a look around your own garden and see what you can find. But make sure before you use anything, you know it's safe to do so. Mm -hmm.